Good evening, Council. Thank you for this opportunity to speak before you. First, thank you for your unanimous agreement to pull this item. What I'd like you to think about uh, is currently where the metro stops. If we extend it, are we going to get riders if we have them ride to a residential neighborhood next to Nikki's house, our pallet shelter, living spaces, and a bus depot that's empty? Or are we going to get people to ride it and come to the South Bay if it's out front in front, in front of a new South Bay Social District. L. Catterton is investing $500 million into the South Bay Galleria to put a hotel, apartments, revitalize the mall, put in even a skateboard park. It's going to be a destination that people will want to go to. It'll be a reason for people to ride the metro. In addition, the South Bay Social District will get consumers and survive because of what the metro's train brings it. I spoke with uh, Euron Erickson, council member from Hermosa Beach. They credit their metro station and their commercial corridor there with bringing them a hotel, housing, uh, and, oh, sorry, did I say Culver City, sorry. Uh, Euron Erickson of Culver City, hotel, housing, and, um, and a supermarket. Th those are all possible on Hawthorne Boulevard. Uh, now, when, when, when Israel was atrociously attacked by Hamas, the first thing the U.S. does, send an aircraft carrier over there. President Biden gets on the phone on a video conference with Prime Minister Netanyahu. That's what friends do. Friends back up friends. Here, we haven't been consulted. That's really unfortunate. Our residents, my residents, their livelihoods, their investments, life investments are at stake. For whatever reason here, there is a staff agenda at Metro staff, at Hermosa staff, otherwise, to push the right-of-way option. The request isn't for you to decide how, the, how it's going to get funded, how it's going to get completed. It's a locally preferred alternative. And it makes sense that a Metro station to a destination, a commercial corridor, is going to generate more economic activity and get more riders, have more utility for the region, than one that goes to a neighborhood and then to a refinery district in Torrance. So I ask you to back us up. And what I'll say is I will back, we will back Metro up. I just made a motion that carried at City Council in Redondo Beach to agendize appropriating some of the money that we designated for litigating against Metro instead for lobbying for Metro dollars to build the Hawthorne option. And that's where our concentration will be going forward, is Metro does not have enough money to build any of the options. But it takes leadership to get them the money to build the best option. And that's what we intend to provide and ask for your support. Thank you. Madam Clerk. Rory Barish. That's the next agenda. 